Don't ask me. Hey, you. <laughs> this segment today is dedicated for grandchildren, especially the Walsh grandchildren. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and we want to say to begin to walk by faith means to forget about the past. Yeah, you got to forget about the past. Not worry about tomorrow. Nope, you don't want to worry about tomorrow either. And do your best in the present. Yeah, and to illustrate this, we're going to tell you a story. <laughs> I like stories, and my grandkids like stories too. Well, there was a man that was running through the forest, and he was running away from the grizzly there. <laughs> oh, big grizzly, you know. And he was running as fast as he could. He was running so fast he had sweat running down his cheek. <laughs> and as he's running along, he kind of peeked back to see where the grizzly there was. Oh, and my goodness, the, gra the grizzly grabbed his shoulder and scraped his shirt. And he almost knocked him down. He kept running and running and running, you know. And as he was running, he saw a rope tied to a tree by the cliff. And he decided to grab a hold of that there rope and jumped off the cliff. And so now he's dangling off the cliff, hanging onto the rope. He decides to repel. That means climb down. And he climbed down about 20 feet away from that grizzly there who's still grinding and trying to get him, you know. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden he realizes he's got a problem there. Yeah, I would say he's got a problem. He's hanging onto the rope. Yep. And he's looking up at the top, and there's that angry grizzly there looking down at him. And then he looks down at the bottom, and he sees a fast new than a river. And he's in a predicament. My goodness, I'm hanging on to this road. My goodness, so what do I do now? Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then he remembered there is another one. He was a little kid. His mother was the heart of the family, you know. And the mother said, when you get in a situation, you got to pray. So, he prayed, right? Yeah. So he bowed his head down and he said, Lord, I'm not going to worry about the past. That running with the grizzly there, up there. And I'm not going to worry about tomorrow or the future. They'd be falling down in that running river down there. And I'm doing the best I can at the present. Help, Lord, help, help. The Lord answers things and prayers in mysterious ways sometimes. Yeah, he did. So the man happened to look out on the ledge above him. And good night, he saw two rats crawling out of a hole. And they were chewing on the rope that he's hanging on to. Oh my goodness, that's not a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. The rope could tear and he could fall down to his death in that running rhythm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But God showed up and he looked on his other side and he noticed they had some wild strawberries growing out on that cliff. So he decided he'd uh, pick a couple since he's dangling there on the road. They look good. So it picked it and boop, boop, yum, yum, they're good. Red, juicy strawberries. And then this idea came to him. The Lord said, you know, why don't you pick a couple more and throw them out there to the ledge of where the rats are at. So he did. He threw the, uh, the rats a couple of strawberries, you know. And they picked them up, threw them in their pouch, and they went back in their rat hole. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Well, anyway, so one problem is gone. He's looking up and still that grizzly there still up there. So I thought, well, let me try this again. So they took some more strawberries out there and took a handful of them and threw them up as high as he could on the ledge on the top of the cliff. And they made it. And then the there is uh, eating in their strawberries and just like that, the there decided to walk away. Maybe he was looking for more strawberries. I don't know, it distracted him though. So there's the man. 
He's not worried about tomorrow. He's not worried about the past. So he climbed up and he is saved. Now, what does this have to do with you and me? Well, you don't want to worry about the past like that grizzly, and you don't want to worry about the future. Any problem, any running, really running through your life. But you got to do the best you can in the present, right? Yeah. Why? Well, you got to walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 7 says to do that. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Well, I know of another guy. Not the man in the forest, but another guy. I know a man that was in the Navy. And he was trying to make chief. That he walked through a boss that hated God and hated Jesus. And he didn't want this guy to make chief. He didn't think he should be chief because he didn't follow the good old boys club, you know. But the man of faith stuck to Jesus and he made chief anyway. Ha <laughs> <I love> that! <laughs> See, God's will will be done, whether somebody likes it or not. Amen. Amen. So the story, the moral of the story is what? You got to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. See love. Meditate on this. <laughs>